Thank you, Antoine, for your very kind introduction. Thank you very much, Pedro, for inviting me to this wonderful conference full of passion. You know, we are celebrating today the 10th anniversary of the IPC. In fact, uh, 2010 is also three other anniversaries. It's the 60th anniversary of optical pumping. The original paper of Alfred Kassler uh, giving the idea of optical pumping dates 1950. It's also the 50th anniversary of the realization of the first laser by Ted Maiman. And also, it's the 15th anniversary of the first gaseous bose einstein condensate, which is a very great issue in atomic physics. What I would like to do in this lecture is to describe a few advances in atomic and molecular physics realized by using light for manipulating atoms. And I would like to try to point out a few trends and a few perspectives of this research field. You know, I will deal in all my lectures with light and matter. Understanding light and matter, how they interact, has been always the central question in physics. It has been at the origin of conceptual and technological revolution, like the relativity theory, like quantum mechanics, like the light, which is a completely new type of light. You know, when you look at the light emitted by atoms, you get information on these atoms on, in the medium where they are located. That's the purpose of spectroscopy. But a new point of view has been developed during the last few years, the last few decades, is to use light for manipulating atoms, for changing their properties. And I would like to describe in this lecture how can one polarize atoms with light how can one cool them to extremely low temperature? What are the new research fields? What are the new applications which have been opened by this research? That's the central theme of this lecture. 